So I want to show you this uh, Veritas uh, honing guide, which you can use for uh, plane irons, the, the cutting edge of a, of a wood plane, or for wood chisels, um, made in Canada. And this is much more expensive than a uh, cheap honing jig like this, which I don't recommend buying, um, just for a lot of reasons. See my other video. Um, this one is going to cost you probably somewhere between 50 and 70 bucks uh, to pick up. But uh, from my experience so far, especially if you're sharpening chisels a lot, if you're very uh, concerned about getting the right angle, um, this guy is, is great. So let's take a look. So we've got this piece, instruction manual, instruction manual in German. Thank you very much. And then we've got the, the other piece here. So, um, yeah, so the way it works, take a, first take a look. You've got this, this nice big roller here, which is great. Um, here's your clamp uh, for your, your plain iron or, or your chisel. Um, and then you've got three different settings that you can, you can use here to move this around. And that's going to help with changing changing the angles and there's detents and stuff so it's it's very easy to get this exactly in the right spot so and then the roller is also adjustable which I'll come to in a minute so um, the way that this guy works so first of all from a material standpoint um, this looks like it's been cast and then um, if this piece is cast this piece is machined um, very nice very solid it's all metal um, you need to maintain it you need to oil the roller and, and things like that but Overall, it feels like a very nice piece of equipment. So the way it works is, see I've got a chisel here, uh, 24 millimeter chisel, and then I go ahead and I put this guide on here. And normally you would set, um, so 24 millimeters is just under one inch, and so normally you would set this mark here to line up with the width of the chisel. And all that does is help you to center uh, your chisel in the guide. So 24 millimeters is just a hair under one inch. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but if you get it close, then you're gonna have um, nice centering on your chisel. Next thing to notice is that um, you see we have these three colors here, one, two, and three, red, yellow, and green. And then here on the setup piece, we also have the same thing. So you can see one, red is high angles, two yellow is standard angles, and three is back bevels. So this particular chisel I know um, is a uh, 25 degree plus or minus uh, degree angle. So I'm just going to stick with that. So I've set this then, this piece, you see I'm on yellow, so I'm on middle, and I set it to yellow 25, which is right there where I was before with the thumb screw. Okay, so now I can go ahead and take the chisel and put it in carefully through the guy. Now there's two pieces that the to this, this guide. One is uh, the fence here on this side, which you use in order to make sure that your chisel is straight. And the second one is a stop here, which is the thing we set uh, to 25 degrees. So that ensures that we're the right distance from where the roller is in order to get a 25 degree angle on here. So now that we've got that in place, we'll go ahead and tighten this down evenly. You don't want to just crank it on one side. Eyeball it a little bit. Sorry if you can't see that. Okay, so now that's been tightened. It's nice against the fence, nice against the end. Now I can just loosen this adjustment piece and take it off. And now we're set up, I'm just set this aside. Now we're set up for a 25 degree angle. Almost one more thing that I have to have to share. And that's that there's a micro bevel adjustment on the roller here. And when this notch is up, then yes, we are set indeed to this 25 degrees. Um, and basically we get, if I pull the knob out, then I can rotate it. So here's the position two and here's position three. And so what this does is you can see that this roller is, um, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. 
the roller is, is offset. And so what that's doing is that's adding just a little bit of height when I turn this around. And so by adding a little bit of height here, then it's going to just slightly increase the angle. And so what that does is when you're done sharpening your, your bevel with it in the 12 o'clock position, um, then you can go ahead and put a little micro bevel on there. And this is just less or more micro bevel. So the micro bevel is just going to be a slightly steeper angle right at the edge of the chisel. And the reason that that's nice to have is that it makes it much faster to resharpen because you don't have to sharpen the entire um, face here. You just sharpen just this leading edge, just a small piece. So that's very, very cool. Um, yeah, and that's basically it for this guy. Of course, you can do plain irons. You can do back bevels on plain irons. So there's a bunch of other things you can do with this. Um, the manual is probably online if you're curious, but uh, overall, if you're doing a lot of sharpening and if you're not comfortable doing it, uh, just eyeballing it with your hands um, in terms of the angles, uh, this is a, a great tool.